Hello, I am Pastor Brad Doty coming to you with our daily devotion, Images of God, for Thursday, January 21st. Our theme for today is God is a Promise. Our reading comes from uh, the Gospel of Matthew, the 11th chapter. Come to me, all you that are weary and carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. God is a promise. As many have shared with me that uh, these devotions are valuable to them and they, uh, they speak to them. This is one I feel that uh, God uh, speaks to me during this time and uh, want to share this one with you. So God has promised. God makes promises and covenants with God's people. God makes uh, covenants with us and promises with us. God makes a covenant with Noah at the beginning and with his people, or all people, to never again destroy the earth with a flood. God makes a covenant with Abraham that he will make him into a great nation and bless him and his descendants. God makes a covenant with Moses and the Israelites that he will make the Israelites his treasured possession among all people and a kingdom of priests and a holy nation if they follow his commandments. God makes a covenant with David that he will establish his dynasty forever. And God makes a covenant with us called the New Covenant, which Jesus promises us life in his name through his crucifixion. Again, uh, we've uh, been uh, taking uh, these uh, images of God uh, from uh, this uh, this book, Images of God, uh, by uh, Maria Helen Duvall. And I want to read for you uh, what she has written about uh, the images of God when it comes to uh, God is a promise. God is a promise. And because of this, we can be sure that life is stronger than death and that love is stronger than hate. Because of God, we can believe that goodness will one day fill the earth and that there will no longer be any wickedness because he has promised this. And we can help make this promise come true a little each day. And finally, a reading from Romans, uh, the 10th chapter. If you confess on your lips that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. God makes promises to us as his people, and God loves us and cares for us. God promises to be with us always and to welcome us into his heavenly home when we leave this earth. We have to put our faith and our trust in this promise. Let us pray. Loving and gracious God, we give you thanks for your love, for the promises and covenants that you have made to your people. Lord, we know that you keep your promises. May we put our faith and trust in you, that you will save us from our sin and give us that gift of eternal life through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you with grace and mercy. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Have a blessed day.